Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive. Now the most notable features on this XLE is its heated front seats. You have your rear parking sensors along with your power moonroof. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XLE is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look just over on the side, you have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels, foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors. And the other nice thing is that you do have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now taking a look on the inside of the mirror here, you also have the blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just looking at there is another vehicle right beside you. And just to give you a better idea of what the second row looks like. As you can see, you have captain's seats, and then in the third row and second row windows, you have the sunshade visors just so you can block out some of that sun. And then you'll find the close button just located on the side here. So all you have to do is just push on it once and we'll close for you automatically. Now, if you want to actually close the door from the outside automatically, just pull on the handle once and it will close for you automatically. The color we're taking a look at today is pre-dawn gray and taking a closer look at the front dash as well as the front seats. You have your leather interior with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Trash control on and off, your parking sensors on and off, blind spot monitoring on and off. You have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function, mode select, voice recognition, along with your Bluetooth connectivity, scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control does offer you the push button start, so all you have to do is push your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features, which include a digital speedometer with a distance to empty, fuel economy, all-wheel drive, you can also go through and take a look at your compass, audio, messages, and settings menu, which offer you the ECT power, and a couple of other additional features as well. Now, if we take a closer look just at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features. So if you go inside the apps menu, you have your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now down below, you have your hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings with your rear temperature controls located down below, matted to an automatic transmission. And then as you can see, you also have the heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with the USB and auxiliary input. And you also have an additional power outlet as well. Up top, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opening controls and digital compass with the open and close for the power sliding rear doors, power lift gate, power moonroof, and sunglass case holder. Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. And as you can see on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera on the left-hand side and the rear hatch release located just in the center. Closing in on the rear cargo space, you have a 60-40 split for the third row. So in the event that you need the additional space or additional passengers, it's available to you. The instructions for how the seats fold or unfold are just located on the back of the seat there, just in case you do forget. You have some extra space for some storage on the left-hand side, as well as down below. And then over on the right-hand side, you'll find that power outlet for yourself. And then when you're all finished up, all you have to do is just push on the back of the tailgate once, and we'll close for you automatically. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. 
Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.